Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So I have another weekly recap video of the candles that I've been burning recently. These are basically like haul videos, except they're not new candles, but candles that I've been burning, where I still talk about every single one and how they performed. And I guess they're like post uh, burn haul videos. Uh, but yeah, let me just get right into it. Uh, so I have basically all the um, BBW candles that I've been burning recently, as well as just a crap load of homeworks. I just went like off the rails and got really into homeworks there for a while uh, when BBW was kind of boring. Um, and so we have some of the BBW, a lot of the candle day candles that I've been getting into because at least some of that was newness. So I felt inspired to finally burn some of it. And then the other portion of the video is just going to be like off the walls homework stuff. So uh, if you're interested in any of that, then stay tuned. Uh, we'll do the BBW stuff and then do homeworks. Uh, let's see. What is the first candle? Oh my God. Uh, this excellent already did a full review on it check it out pistachio and toasted vanilla this is like the shining one from all of the candle day releases simply excellent salted pistachios toasted vanilla almonds with natural essential oils um yeah already did a full review on it so i don't have to go too much into it oh my god this is so good um i just was expecting this to just be pistachio ice cream which while nice and very strong i didn't love it too much this i like so much more it is so co cozy warm and delicious it's just I, I did a whole review on it but basically it's like the sort of kitchen spice nutmeg and spice blend that you got from white bar number one nutmeg and spice mixed with this awesome nutty toasty sweet pistachio and almond blend in there with just a hint of this creamy vanilla it's bakery it's cozy it's sweet it's strong it's delicious it's just simply excellent freaking love it um the only issue with this is it has the massive core wicks that make the mushroom tops on it and it is just oh my god just so much so off of this um just wow yeah so that's the major downfall with this but the throw and the fragrance are just excellent so i can't recommend this enough uh next candle sale i think there's a 16.95 candle sale going on right now but i thought there was rumors of a buy to get to coming up sometime soon um so Check it out for then if your store still has these. I, I believe they're readily available online. Uh, so good. Pistachio and toasted vanilla right there. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, another so good one. Ugh, I, just, I don't know why I just don't pick this up every single year. I'm just like, oh, it's going to be back. I don't need to get it. But I freaking love this too. And I might like get another one if I can find this like for SAS or the next candle sale. Marshmallow Fireside. Basic and it's been around forever. But if this is like slack and excellence as well. Uh, this is toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. This version burned great. It has the core wicks that don't mushroom on you. And they don't soot on you either it's very much kind of like how the warm apple pie candle in some variations of the berry waffle cone burn where it's like no maintenance no trimming no sooting just light and go and it's excellent because you can just keep burning it without having to like fuss with the soot in the you know dudding out action excellent nowhere near as strong as it used to be back in the day i remember having one from the like the older white barn jars when they had like the photo labels and the gold lids on it uh back when they like made the transition from slack into white barn that one was so strong and marshmallow fireside even like when it burned like crap back in the day it would still have a great amazing throw significantly reduced but still a beautiful gorgeous fragrance that's like in the realm of how like warm apple pie throws it's like a nice fragrance but i just wish it was stronger so you just delegate it into a smaller bedroom and it's excellent and this is like the best blender candle of like all time it's just so good with everything i had this going with toasted pistachio and vanilla simply excellent there I had it going with blueberry cotton candy and that was so delicious too it just gives it like this extra creamy warm slightly roasty depth to it that just makes any fragrance just like just nicer like that's why like blush point said it has some parts of marshmallow fireside in it Toasted hazelnut praline has a bit of marshmallow fireside in it. Cypress and amber is basically marshmallow fireside with flannel. Uh, like, they just mix all of them. I thought I could do a, like, radiant red maple evoking blend by doing marshmallow fireside mixed with apple macchiato, but, whoo, that did not work out. Apple macchiato was so strong in comparison to this. It just completely, like, just mowed over it, and I couldn't hardly smell marshmallow fireside at all. This is a lighter fragrance, so you kind of have to pair it with lighter fragrances or a fragrance that just really blends well with it, but yeah still excellent I, I wish it was stronger but at least this version doesn't dud out on me like some of the other versions in that same packaging, I was really just trying to get through this. It's cuddle weather right here, and that's what that looks like. Uh, this one is warm gingerbread tea, cinnamon shortbread, and a cozy blanket. This also is available in this packaging if what I say about this interests you. Uh, it's kind of a generic gingerbread fragrance. It's very similar to gingerbread marshmallow, to be completely honest, uh, which is also kind of similar to spiced gingerbread. It's just like a generic 
but pleasant gingerbread fragrance. Uh, also kind of similar to like the cinnamon spice vanilla, sweet rosemary vanilla element in there as well. There's something like slightly herbal about it in the way that sweet rosemary vanilla was herbal. Maybe it's the tea component of it. Uh, but warm and cozy nonetheless. It's a nice fragrance for this time. Uh, it just gets kind of burnt and like nubby wick towards the mid-range and beyond point. So it does smell kind of burnt and spent at this point. So not the best there, but this one like... I felt like it was lighter, but then it got stronger and stronger the more it burned down. So that was cuddle weather right there. This, the surprise uh, hit for me, blueberry cotton candy. So this smells rancid on cold. It has that lid on it that smells like freaking garlic butter ranch, like dipping sauce. You would get at Papa John's and I'm about to just like dunk some breadsticks or the pizza crust into the this lid because it is the sauce that is the garlic butter ranch or garlic butter, whatever it is. It's like, I guess garlic butter, dipping sauce as well as ranch dipping sauce combined together in one fragrance and that's what this lid smells like but when you go to burn it it's surprisingly nice very 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 light like way lighter than i thought it would be but i guess like blueberry sugar is really light too so it's not too surprising but mm, did i read this ripening blueberry spun sugar and vanilla it's like this sweet juicy bursting vanilla that's quite candied and then it's mixed with like this like a warm, creamy, slightly buttery vanilla, and it smells off on cold, and especially with the lid, but when you go to burn it, it's surprisingly like juicy and delicious, and it's just like this, uh, like a warmer leaning blueberry vanilla fragrance that's like kind of like, I don't know, it like, it sounds like it's like every other blueberry vanilla fragrance, but it's, it's a nice take on it. Um, it's very similar to that Blueberry Sugar Pancakes Body Care, which I've been like using because I've been burning this candle as well. Just incredibly light, like, gets lost in an open concept area, but in a bedroom, it's like minimally detectable. So that was blueberry cotton candy right there. <coughs> and then, um, let's see, <laughs> pink rose and leather. I've been burning this one. I bought two of these and spoiler alert, I don't think I'm gonna keep the second one to be honest. It's not terrible, but I just don't love it. Uh, Supple Leather Blooming Rose Petals Comforting Patchouli. Uh, has a thick rope-like wick. The first burn on it was rather light in this larger open concept area. But I moved it to a bedroom and it was much stronger there, much, much stronger. So it went from like a light to a medium plus when I moved it from the different rooms. Um, but when I put it into my room, like all I could smell, like the leather is very overpowering on this, like super overpowering. And I think somebody in a review somewhere said it smelled like the inside of a coach purse. And I was like, oh my God, that's exactly what it smells like. It really smells like maybe like you had a coach purse and like you had sprayed just like a small spritz of like rose perfume in there. And then you open that up and you smell like the leather handles and the inside of the bag. It really smells like that. Or if you're to walk into like a coach store and you smell all the leather bags in there and then somebody spritz like a very faint rose perfume out in the distance that's literally what this smells like it really smells like the inside of like a handbag um which i appreciate the uniqueness of it but i just uh, well like it smells very authentic to leather i just don't know if i really want my house smelling like leather it definitely smells sophisticated but i just wish that it had a little bit more of that rose in there a little bit more of that perfume to amp up that like sweet feminine powdery perfuminess that I kind of wanted from this fragrance but it's just much too strong a leather for me uh but uh, I guess kudos for it being unique and different so yeah but I don't foresee myself even like burning this one too much and I'm like do I even need a second one I don't know I feel like the rose just kind of goes by the wayside um speaking of a candle that I might return oof, yikes Afternoon rainfall right here. I had high hopes for this one when it, uh, I first purchased it on cold. Soft raindrops tapping on your window, fresh aloe blossoms, and a hint of musk. Uh, this one burns fine, medium throw, thick rope-like wicks on that one. I don't know. This one smells nice on cold, but when I go to burn it, somebody said it smells just like seaweed. It reminds me of seaweed, and that's like all I can get of it now. That I'm just like, this literally just smells like sweet seaweed. Like it really smells like wet sweet seaweed and me being half japanese and being very intimate with like sushi and onigiris and like random japanese a cuisine that uh you know involves seaweed strips i'm very intimate with the smell of seaweed and yeah it just smells like sweet seaweed and then when you go to burn it there's like this slightly like plasticky it smells like um like new 
Apple computer or Apple device like plastic or packaging, which I'm also very intimate with because I used to work at a middle school as a technology assistant and I would set up like entire labs of computers and devices and new laptops. And so I would be opening like anywhere from like 20 to like 50 new computers out of their Apple packaging and like unwrapping them over and over and over and over, over again. So very intimate with the smell of Apple product packaging as well. And it has that plasticky Apple product packaging mixed with like sweet seaweed and it also kind of has like a papery like like high gloss magazine pages type of fragrance to it as well which i guess is what like that sort of product packaging uh fragrance is as well i don't know this is weird i just thought it was going to be a little bit nicer but it just simply wasn't i burned it twice which hopefully that counts as gently used for the return policy to be able to return this because i just don't ever foresee myself burning this there's i don't know yeah afternoon rainfall right there and that was my BBW. Now moving on to homeworks, a ton of that. If you haven't watched Touch the Fire Twice, Josh, excellent YouTuber who's been around forever, super articulate, like truly the king of uh, home fragrance reviewing since way back in the golden era of all the test scents at BBW. He did a very perfectly articulated video on the issues that homeworks has uh, or the questions and concerns that he has of homeworks and the quality declining and all that stuff. I couldn't agree more with it. I was like, I wanna type out a comment, but it's just like, I agree with everything you said. So it's just like, I would be repeating the entire video that you did so make sure you watch that and check that out because it's like we are so passionate about, about homeworks and slack and co because we uh love slack and co ever since the heyday back in like 2010 11 12 uh at bbw it is what got us into bbw and that's why we sometimes can be more critical about it than like maybe a casual consumer because we are so passionate about it and because we grew up on slack and co into our you know candle obsession um and we're just very passionate about it and it's just like our love for the brand and the uniqueness and the creativity of the fragrances uh it's just like ah i wish it could just be that much better like there's so many glaring obvious issues that i wish they could fix and it seems like they keep uh like sliding into a decline rather than a uh uphill ascend into quality and greatness and it's like they have the you know once good reputation and name of the slack and name as well as the creativity of fragrances and the like unique vessels and all that kind of stuff and now they're being like distributed to, like qvc and ulta and uh you know tj maxx home goods marshalls um they're just readily available now which is great but the quality has definitely suffered so i just can't agree more with that video so i just wanted to shout it out uh but despite that I guess in the defense of homeworks, while I completely agree with that video and like everything, um, the good thing about homeworks is the simple, uh, like vast variety and uniqueness and creativity and fragrances that they have that BBW have simply completely slipped away from um, in favor of being more uh, like, I guess, mass friendly in terms of BBW. It's just like they kind of like cater to what appeals to the most, like the like widest net being cast. Rather, Homeworks does stray here, there, and the other because I guess they don't have like a huge fleet of nationwide stores. They don't quite have to be as like meticulous about like, is this fragrance going to perform? and sell to the high six tent as a mahogany teakwood or a champagne toast what have you so because of the variety and creativity i still do stray to homeworks quite a bit and i strayed like massively with all these candles that i have so if you're interested in any of the recent uh, homeworks candles uh then we'll get right into it where do i even start uh i have a christmas morning this was a duo on qvc and we have that right there uh that's what that looks like this was rich apple butter cinnamon sugar warm apple brandy and buttered vanilla and boy was this a disappointment oh my gosh i think this was like somewhat coveted because it went out of stock so quickly this is like completely unscented when you go to burn it. I can't, I, maybe a one when it's burning, just completely unscented when it's in here. Um, and the issue with homeworks is the candles like so like crazy, like just so like so much crazy. Uh, it's funny because I just started burning a lot of homeworks candles recently for the past month or so in one spot. And I can already see on the white wall, like it usually accumulates where the like, the ceiling and the wall hits, like normally where your molding would be. Uh, you can start seeing like a yellowish, brownish tinge to it and i started noticing that once i started going on my homework streak of burning for about a whole month of homeworks uh so the soot is very real on this uh i can take magic eraser and kind of clean it up but it's still very annoying and if you're not on top of it that stuff will build up there for quite a bit uh but yes yeah, completely unsigned when it's burning and it just soots like crazy. And so like, because I, it soots so much, I have to keep trimming them that it like does that like side residue goopiness where it doesn't burn down completely properly. Ah, uh, just a headache. Um, yeah, this is a complete waste of money to be completely honest. Uh, what does it smell like? It's 
so similar to all their other fragrances. They have, they keep doing this fragrance. It's like the same fragrance that like Spice Butter Rum slash Balsam Toddy is, uh, and kind of similar to that Honey Glazed Pear thing. Uh, it's that like warm, sort of like tot, like caramel butter toddy fragrance that they keep doing, kind of like apple -y as well. If you know Christmas Cider from BBW, very similar to that. If you remember the apple butter version of, was it Welcome Home from BBW? Uh, very similar to that as well. It's that sort of like apple spiced, um, like caramel toddy rum buttery action that it just kind of like comes up in home fragrance a lot, but it's not even that unique to be honest. And it's most certainly the lightest version of it, which you would think with notes like this, it would be quite strong, but it just simply isn't. Uh, so that was Christmas morning right there. We then have this like holiday trio of tree fragrances and we have cranberry wreath first in that collection. That's what that looks like. This one's Ice Cranberries for Needle, Fresh Balsam, and Musk. This is actually available on a photo label at TJ Maxx stores. I've seen it many times, but I got it in this trio instead. Um, the same performance, just soots like crazy, and because it soots so much, you kind of have to blow it out, and then it, so it does that like side residue thing all up in there, so it doesn't make a clean, even wax pool. But this was surprisingly very strong for a Homeworks candle. I thought this was going to be a generic ass like frosted cranberry fragrance from BBW, which is it's very similar to that, but it's like the best elevated version of it. It's so sweet and so juicy and just like so wet. It's like this juicy wet bowl of cranberries that's just like dripping with like cranberry juices. Uh, there's a bit of like a crispness and a tartness to it. It's simply excellent. It's like the best like cranberry fragrance. It's so refreshing and juicy. The issue with this is that while it says cranberry wreath on it, there truly is no like fresh balsam or fur needle note. There's really nothing that's like tree or Christmassy or like green that comes through on this outside of the cranberries. Like you get kind of like undertones about, about it when you smell it on cold, but when it's burning, it kind of just translates really into like a cranberry fragrance. But thankfully, this trio comes with two other tree fragrances. So I burn this and pair this with the other two tree fragrances to give my fix of what cranberry wreath I feel like should smell like. And so I often burn it with under the tree right here. That's what that looks like right there. Uh, and this one is fresh pine needle fir balsam, warm evergreens, fresh cut cedarwood. These tree fragrances just all run together. Like it's good on one hand that Homeworks releases so many tree fragrances because BBW has been really like shying away from that. So I like that they release so many tree fragrances, but a lot of them aren't, like distinct enough from each other. They all kind of like smell similar or all run together. Like they're not as distinct as like Winter Garland is very certainly Winter Garland and Mary Mistletoe is very certainly uh, Mary Mistletoe. Like those were very distinct, but a lot of these just kind of like run together. Uh, under the tree, probably the lightest out of it, like maybe a two to a three throw, uh, but it does at least burn a little bit better than the other one. So there's that. Um, which also kind of makes sense because a lot of times like the more fragrance oils are in a candle, the more it will soot. But uh, there's unscented homeworks candles like the Christmas morning that's so like crazy and they also seemingly don't have enough fragrance oils. So that theory goes out the window. But I was to say because this one's so light, maybe it doesn't soot so much and that's why it burns a little bit better because the fragrance load might be lower on it. I don't know. <laughs> but in any case, I don't know. It kind of smells like tree farm, kind of smells like fresh balsam from BBW. It's just another like juicy tree fragrance and I just burn it with cranberry wreath and it kind of gives me my tree fix. It's, it's a very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A not, um, not memorable, just another tree fragrance is I guess what I'm trying to say from under the tree on that one. Uh, and then we have Woodland Wonderland right here. This one's a little bit more distinct. Uh, this one is fir balsam, pine cone sap, apple wood, and woodland spice. This smells a whole lot like Trim the Tree from Homeworks. Very similar to it. You get that sort of like boozy apple fragrance with like a sappy tree fragrance uh, mixed down in it. But I think Trim the Tree is a little bit, maybe a little bit more heavy on that like boozy apple fragrance. And this one's a little bit more heavy on the tree. It's kind of like they just switched up the ratios on the two fragrances. But it also kind of smells like saliva as well, which I don't love. Um, but this one at least is stronger than Under the Tree. Um, so at least I can smell it, but I just don't love the fragrance. I never really loved Trim the Tree either, and this is just like a very, very, very close sibling to it. So Woodland Wonderland right there. I can't really say it smells like what I would imagine a Woodland Wonderland to smell like, but it is what it is. Uh, moving on, we have another crazy sooter, Vanilla Orchard, Orchard Crisp. Uh, this one was raved about a lot, so I was like, let me finally get my hands on this, and so I did. Uh, this one is Farmstand Cider, Brown Sugar, Vanilla Buttercream, and Cinnamon Stick. This is so not what I expected at all. Oh my gosh. This is like a, like a, 
I don't like a pear apple like caramel ish fragrance that is made heavily body cared. It smells so immensely similar to Cashmere Glow from BBW. Uh, there's like this heavy body care component just chilling in here that is just so hard to deny, at least the version that I have. And that is then mixed with, I guess, what Vanilla Orchard Crisp is supposed to be. But like Vanilla Orchard Crisp comes to mind like something heavily gourmand, like some full blown bakery dessert fragrance. There's just too much heaps of like a sandalwood in like amber note chilling in the background for this to be truly a like full-blown gourmand fragrance it's like a pear apple spiced um dessert if it was combined with heaps of cashmere glow and it kind of smells like lotion uh so kind of bummed about that but um it was light at the beginning but then it picked up more but this one's another one of those where like so it's like crazy so it's hard to keep it going for uh, any amount of time so vanilla orchard crisp right there uh, we then have Balsam White Birch, which this one uh, was a much slower burn, or rather a like schmutzy burn. And so at least this one was nice in the sense that I could keep it going forever because the flames were quite puny on this. That I didn't have to worry about sooting, so I could actually enjoy this one for a longer period of time because I can just like keep it going forever and not worry about the soot. But as a result, this one I actually finished. It is an empty. Um, I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but there's just like mounds of like uh, wax residue on the side there because it was just like really struggling to pull out the entire time. Um, quite a light throw. I would say maybe like about a four. You can really only smell it when it's like a uh, smaller bedroom. Kind of lost in an open concept area. This is fur balsam, white birch, cedar leaf, and smoldering wood. This is very similar to their white birch fragrance, but a little less powdery and a little less intense than that. And a little bit more like dry and um, almost like a spicy, woodsy crispness to it. Uh, like there's something very like, like if I was like peeling off barks from a tree kind of like like crisp hardness uh it's kind of what i get from it and something like slightly peppery or spicy about it that's a little bit weird but then it's mixed with a little bit of like a uh vanilla fragrance as well that it kind of reminds me of like vanilla balsam from bbw as well it's actually quite a gorgeous fragrance i actually really enjoyed it i just wish it was stronger and the burn wasn't so like problematic on it but yeah it's like a slightly woodsier vanilla balsam from BBW is the best way to describe it. It's that very quintessential fresh balsam balsam experience that you get from fresh balsam and vanilla balsam mixed with a little bit of powderiness from that white birch fragrance and a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of like a peppery woodsy component to it. Uh, nice fragrance. I just wish it was stronger. Uh, so balsam white birch right there. Uh, so that was that. Uh, we then have this, oh my gosh, um, this white hobnail, I think this was from QVC, Cool Winter Day, which is crisp air for balsam, white cedar, and eucalyptus, which, like, sounds like all the other notes that we've talked about, and I was like, ooh, I wonder if this is gonna be, like, some awesome, like, I don't know, cool winter day fragrance. But this is just none other than friggin' uh, Mountain Air. It's a total repackage. Quite bummed about that. Even it has like the light blue wax on it. Uh, the Mountain Air tends to have uh, the same exact performance that Mountain Air has like. Which Mountain Air is notorious for like sooting like crazy. Uh, like it performed exactly like it. Where it would like soot so much and like it wouldn't. It's like a slow pull out and it won't. Uh, pull out properly and because it's soot so much like you have to blow it out before it pulls out and it's just like this constant struggle and this fragrance is like it doesn't actually start throwing until you get a deep even wax pool um and so you really don't smell it until it starts to pull out completely but it's very hard to get to that point with this candle and mountain air like same exact like burn quality on this like 100 percent. i still have mountain air in my collection so kind of bummed that i have two more of this duplicate but They've been doing the repackaging thing a lot lately. Um, it's also not surprising because I think Woodland Cabin, which originally was the other half of the duo that Mountain Air came with, was what released first. And Woodland Cabin exists in this collection as well. And I guess that one kept its name, but this one they repackaged it as a different name. But it's kind of like you get a little bit of like a pine balsam note. And it's like a nice fragrance, but it's just hard to ever get a good burn out of it. Uh, it kind of smells like chestnut and clove. There's like a nutty, almost chestnut component to it with a little, little bit of the clove spice mixed in there with a little bit of like a pine tree note and like a some slight cooling air component that evokes, I guess, being on the top of a mountain and breathing that in. Uh, there's a nice like evocative fragrance of what I guess mountain air is supposed to smell like. But the performance on this just plagued this candle so much that I just really can't get good uh, performance out of this. I sometimes wish they would go to the thick rope-like wick wicks that sometimes they used to do and that bbw does very frequently because those like it's 
they tend to have a little bit more of a controlled burn on it while it still gets schmutzy and dark whereas these thin core ones it's almost like the same wick is on every single candle and they all sweat and perform exactly the same and it's just like really annoying because it's just like I sometimes wish they did use different wicks so you could like maybe get a different version of it that actually performed or pulled out a little bit better than some of the other versions but any case lastly I feel like I've been rambling forever uh is I picked up the, there was like a mountain trio or like a outside trio set sometime in the fall time and I was just eyeing it for the longest time and so I finally got it and we have Autumn Walk right here and that's what that looks like. Uh, this one was Woodland Pine, Golden Quince, Vanilla Sugar, and Sandalwood. This set is weird in the sense that it doesn't really smell like an outside trio. Uh, two out of the three fragrances are like more of the sweet, sickeningly sweet like gourmand fragrance mixed with traces of a, like an outdoor fragrance. And then one of them is a truly an outdoor fragrance. But heavily spiced fragrance. This is very similar to Pumpkin Woods that came out. The second version of Pumpkin Woods that's out this year that was so strong and so spicy. It's very similar to that. Very similar like spice blend to Pumpkin Woods. It's just like a quintessential... It's quite a sort of generic spice fragrance mixed with a hint of maple is what I get from this one. It's like this sickeningly sweet maple spice fragrance um, with something that's like slightly dirty chilling in the background. Um, I, I actually don't mind it to be honest and it's quite strong. Uh, so there was that. So that was Autumn Walk right there. Uh, we then have the one that is so like, oh my god, this is very cloying. Like this one will like, you know, I, I feel suffocated after two uh, two hours of this. Maple Woods right here, and that's what that looks like. Uh, this one's Dark Woods, Vermont Maples here, Marzipan and Cardamom. Whoa, this is like the heaviest, darkest, like, like maple, marzipan, caramel fragrance that you will ever encounter. It's kind of like a dark, like... Almost like a Werther's caramel, like a darker, more molasses-y type of caramel fragrance. Almost like a brown sugar essence mixed in there. I guess maybe that's coming from the marzipan and the cardamom. But yeah, this is like this heavy, heavy maple, brown sugar, caramel, marzipan fragrance. That's very intense and very cloying. Uh, seriously, like this is very strong though. So at least we're good there. Uh, but it's just one of those that I get like kind of like ugh, after like two hours. So maple woods right there. Uh, lastly, we have Lakeside Trail, which is thankfully, uh, in this case, not as strong as Maple Woods. Uh, this one's probably the lightest out of the trio. It's actually quite light. I can really only smell this in a bedroom. Uh, this one's Autumn Leaves, Clover Blossoms, Stone Fruits, and Forest Moss. This one smells the most like outdoors. It kind of has an Autumn Pinecone vibe to it, but a little less sweet and apple-y as Autumn Pinecone, but a very similar like dirty, like raking leaves and like a shirt that's been sitting outside and you bring it in and you smell the shirt and it just smells like outside. It, this has that like distinctly like outside fragrance that I enjoy. It's not sweet, it's not really like fantasy. It literally just smells like, like acorns or leaves or like moss on the ground, which I love that. Um, but it's just, very, very, very light. So that's the only issue with this. But in a sense, because it is so light, it gives it a more realistic, like, outside fragrance. In the sense that when you go outside, you're not, like, assaulted with a 10th throw of, like, moss and acorns coming at you. So this one's a little bit more, I guess, realistic or natural in its subtlety. So I, I enjoy that. But this one's the only one that really truly smells like outside. So Lakeside Trail right there. And whew, I believe that is it. Thank you so much if you watched this entire video. Um, and let me know if you've tried any of these Homeworks candles. Like, I enjoy the variety and the creativity of Homeworks very much. But the performance issues definitely suffer on Homeworks. But then also the community on here isn't that great either. So like, even if I do a review or a haul video, it just doesn't get a whole lot of interaction. It's not as like exciting and hypey as BBW. So it's like... Well, I enjoy it. I kind of enjoy it personally rather than publicly, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Uh, thanks so much, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.